Take it easy, man. amazing Pokemon card opening, Pokemon WoW card pack. Uh, Cass doesn't do the English language very good. No, she does not. Either way, I'm um, a little out of it. I don't know. I'm not even tired. What am I doing? Either way, so as you might have known, I post about this on Twitter. I found an amazing deal on a Steam Siege booster box. And um, I'm going to be exploiting the heck out of this booster box for content for the next few weeks. Uh, primarily because, well, I mean, one, I'm kind of running low on things to do. I'm not interested in anything Crimson Invasion. I refuse to buy it. This was cheaper. And, um, you know, I've been kind of thinking, you know, it's kind of an anniversary for me. Um, I remember when I first started actually doing Pokemon pack openings anyway. It's not, I didn't start with Pokemon, if you guys see my, uh, early videos. Um, but, uh... Yeah, this was like the first new set. I didn't ever get a booster box at the time. I didn't have that much money. Uh, so I am, I'm pretty excited about finally getting a chance to open one of these. And again, for $75, you cannot argue with that. And um, I think it's there's something to be said when I would rather open up a box of Steam Siege and Crimson Innovation because people were always complaining about the pools in the Steam Siege. Um, but you know what, Crimson Invasion makes makes it seem a whole lot better. So either way, there are 36 packs in here. I will open up half of these this week, and I will open up the other half next week. See if I can stop myself from opening up <laughs> the last couple packs in there. So that will be six uh, packs being opened every single video. And because I'm not really interested in, um, Oh man, it's so nice seeing all these packs. Look at this. Look, oh, that is 18 packs of Pokemon cards right there. That is awesome. <laughs> Either way, and my phone just went off. Um, yeah, so I will be giving away all the code cards in here. So whenever I open a pack, there'll be a code card. So be prepared to get some Pokemon packs. So, or some TCGO packs. Anyway, so let's see. Let's start with one, two. That is one, two, three. Let's get into this. I know you guys. Uh, that's one, two, three, four, five, six. Don't really want to hear me talk about opening packs. You actually just want to see me open packs. So, there we go. There we are. We got two, uh, let's see. Oh, okay. So we got two Xerneas break, uh, two of the um, Evaltal breaks. And of course, we got a uh, Volcanion and a Shiny Mega Gardevoir. So we're going to do those two last. Uh, we'll go in this order. And yeah, let's get these open. So anyways, guys, uh, I've been... Um, let me see if I can adjust this a little bit. So let me see. Does this... Nope, it's not going to happen, I don't think. Well, that's a little bit better. Anyways, what do you guys think of the new uh, Prism Pokemon set? Uh, I'm pretty excited about it. Uh, I've only seen uh, people do some uh, pack videos, pack videos. Well, I haven't seen a booster box opening up yet, and of course it's going to start with a green uh, code card. But um, anyways, I have not seen a booster box opening. I've only seen some loose packs, but the pulls look like they have a pretty good rate. And that's one, two, three. So I'm looking forward to opening some. I should have a booster box within the next couple weeks when it comes out. I'm going to try and get me a booster box. So either way, let's start getting into this stuff. And uh, it was a green code card, but we could get that elusive break card. I still need that Xerneas break from this set. And uh, that is a clink. And um, in this uh, new set, in the, oh my god, wow, wow, it's Prism something. I've already forgotten. I'm awful. Uh, the prism cards are like breaks, so they can come in the reverse slot. And that excites me. Some people are like, oh, well, it's going to reduce the value of the cards. You're going to be pulling so many of them. But, I mean, come on. I just love pulling stuff and having some that chance that in a green code, 
in a green code card, you can still get something cool as pretty okay in my book. So, anyways, our reverse is a do what, and that is just an uncommon, and the rare is a pyroar regular rare. So we're not starting off too hot, and uh, but you know who knows who knows. Um, God, I gotta fix that better. Ah. Oh. I'll have this set up because I'm getting a new setup. As you can see, I got my Shining Legends uh, playmat here, which is pretty neat. And I'm going to start focusing more on Victini. I need to get more Victini stuff. <gasps> I will have a uh, Victini plush soon, courtesy of Mouse Alchemist. I uh, commissioned her to make one for me, so hopefully I will have that here as well. And probably when I get to my, um, oh my god, my new place, I will try and... Uh, have a, a new setup that will be a little bit better so all right so we're starting off with a lampant guard of our spirit ink tangrowth tangela hey you got them in order crowagunk oh shawat meryl ponyta our reverse is another tangela and our rare is a jump bluff regular rare so two packs in we're not um get in the pools but you know this is what steam scene was known for until you know terms innovation came along and you know decided that you know what steam seeds can't get all the credit so either way i actually really like this set though i like the art quite a bit either way and there is a code for you guys right there and let's see this is another green code card what is up with this oh right <laughs> here i am talking trash to crimson invasion seems he's just like nope this is my title but actually the best opening overall opening i had was uh steam siege packs and i opened up um seven steam siege packs i think i pulled like four ultra rares out of it and then like i had hollows a bunch of reverses it was it was some pretty sick pulls all right joltek Bergmite, Fungus, Minky, Shellos, uh, Fletchinder, and our rare is a Nido King regular rare. So, all right, <laughs> getting these stacks of cards up. At least I'm just building up some more bulk. Oh goodness, come on, come on. It shouldn't be this hard for me to get up. It shouldn't be this hard for me to open up our pack. But, all right, so we're in. We got two more here left. Come on, we got to get at least one. Uh, if we can just get a hollow in the first opening, I would be pretty satisfied with that. Oh my god, these packs are so. Oh, look, another green code card. So, you know what? We're getting these green codes out of the way. And uh, one, two, and three. And uh, let's see what we can get. We got that Claw Fossil Anorath. Remember, we can still get a break card. Uh, Guard of our Spirit Link, Fletchling, Yanma, Meryl, Sneasel, Litleo, our reverse is a Nidoran male, and our rare is an Amoongus regular rare. So we got two packs left, so in order for this to be an average uh, opening, both of these are going to have to contain at least a hollow. So let's see if Shiny Mega Gardevoir does, get, brings us the goods. Uh, there's actually I don't have any of the secret rares from the set, which I believe is a Gardevoir EX and a um, and it's a freaking green code card. Are you kidding me? Uh, it's a Gardevoir EX and the Volcanian, and that Volcanian is apparently pretty playable. So I mean, it's not worth a lot, but I think why well, I can probably get like maybe somewhere between seven to ten bucks for it if I had to sell it. Anyway, so we got a Fletchender, Driplum. Greedy dice, or who knows? This set's pretty old. It's probably gonna be going out of circulation too. Well, it's weird to think of this as an old set that's gonna be going out of a <laughs> rotation. Wow, Joltik, Fungus, Bergmite, Mareep, our reverse is a Bastion. Oh, okay, we got a re reverse rare there, and a Samurant regular rare. Amazing. <laughs> All right, so let's get our last pack open. Let's see if this is any good. Come on. Come on, so we got a reverse. We got we we, we we we're due for some good pulls. Oh my God, it's another green code card. Are you kidding me? What is this? Oh my God. So either way, there it is, the code card for you right there. One, two, and three to the front. Come on, give us a break. Give me a break. I just want a break. 
Uh, do what? My pulls have not been doing so hot lately. I just, you know, good lord, Adam. Six packs, not a single hollow or better. Uh, Reap, and that's just a reverse ninja boy. And, well, I mean, this is, I don't know how playable this is still, but still, that was actually, I remember that because it was actually worth like $5, and it was worth more than some EXs because it was pretty playable. So, out of six packs, our best pull is a reverse Bastiodon, and um, I'm going to make sure that is a rare. That is a rare. So, we're going to set you aside over there for our pulls. And, um... <laughs> All right, nerds, I am so sorry about that. I was promising you good pulls, and it just didn't happen. I'm sorry Cassie failed today. Either way, nerds, if you enjoyed this opening, I didn't, but hey, who knows? Maybe you got something good out of those code cards I gave you. Um, <laughs> anyways, yeah, well, I, I'm just, my mind is blown. Six packs, not one pull. That is, that, that is Crimson Invasion bad. Either way, nerds, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and please let me know in the comment section below what you thought of it, what was your favorite pull. Mine actually probably was the Talon Flame, because I think that's actually a pretty neat looking card. I like the art. I do like the art in this set. It's really, really cool. And um, yeah, uh, be sure to like and subscribe if you're not already subscribed. Uh, it definitely helps in, in these times of YouTube. It, it's I, I need every subscriber I can get, so if you're just someone who, who's passing through, you watch the videos, but you don't click subscribe, click subscribe please it's gonna help me out a lot and yeah be sure to follow me on social media at jedi underscore cast on twitter and at cast the nerd on facebook and i will see you nerds in the next video later